the analogy we make for veins is there's a leak in the attic and a flood in the basement. Right. So what does that mean? There's two sets of veins in the leg. So if you think of your leg like a cylinder, mm -hmm. there's the main system or the deep system kind of running down the middle of the leg. You're well, well aware of the DVT because your brother had one. Mm -hmm. That's in that deep vein system. Okay. Um, we, when we look at the veins we and the ultrasound, we do ultrasound that deep system to make sure there's no clots okay. or to make sure there's no um, reflux in that vein, which means it's not working properly. Okay. But we're mainly focused on veins right underneath the skin called the superficial veins. Mm -hmm. It's also why you can kind of see them when mm -hmm. they bulge. The two main ones, one runs from the middle of the ankle, the middle of the leg, the ankle, all the way to the groin, mm -hmm. and the other comes up the back of the leg to about the back of the knee. Mm -hmm. um, they're both called the saphenous veins. The long one's the great saphenous, the small one's the small saphenous. So okay. um, pretty easy on the anatomy part. Now the way veins work is that there's little valves in them. Mm -hmm. They're kind of very simple little tissue. And as your calf muscle pumps, which is basically like a heart in your legs, it slowly like moves the blood up. Mm -hmm. When these valves go bad, the most common reasons are family history. Right. Um, like I mentioned, pregnancies, even though that's not one that you have. Yeah. Um, the vein or the valves just no longer touch each other or they get floppy, so the blood just goes the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a waterfall in your leg. Right. Over time, because it takes several years, they get to where they get bulgy, just yeah. like you have in the back of your yeah. leg. Um, and that's when and they always have symptoms. I was gonna say they've always been well, bad. Like mm -hmm. I mean, even in high school. I mean, and I'm wondering because my my grandmother had very bad okay. varicose veins and right. spider veins and all that kind of stuff. And she okay. had, she had like seven Terrible. children and always okay. you know. But um, but yeah, I'm sure that that's a lot of it right. minus hereditary. I would think correct. I mean, well, as you far as my, you as, as far as having varicose veins and spider veins, I mean, is that not hereditary at all? No, it is. Okay, it's definitely it's hereditary. Okay. Um, so that's for you likely the cause. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes it can be trauma, like your brother that that knee right. injury that caused the DVT. Right. Clots can enter those valves. So, but that's I mean that's yeah. So yeah. I don't know if you had trauma to your leg at all, but yeah, it doesn't so. sound like. It. Does that have any bearing too, though, though, on how long it takes me to heal? Like, as far as because there's not enough blood circulation getting through to my not, legs not necessarily. No. Okay. Actually, the blood would more kind of pool there. Okay. It, the blood's getting to your legs perfect. Right. Um, it's kind of getting out. Okay. That, that's right now might not be working. That's so well. the thing. Because I mean, look. I mean, my feet are purple, and that is. I mean, it's always troublesome. Like I don't know. Like, is it a, is it a problem? Is this like a major problem that they're like this that now? That your feet are purple? Yeah. No. Okay. No. Um, if there is vein disease though, over time what happens, I mean you're kind of at the more the beginning mm -hmm. stages so to speak, mm -hmm. um, the end stage is those ulcers in the legs okay. um, and what you see before that though is kind of the whole leg turning purple, like a brownish purple, okay. it's from iron that stains the skin. Okay. Um, so, but you, the fact that you're, you had mentioned your toes go numb too, there may be more of a Raynaud's component. I know that was already ruled yeah. out, but there still could be kind of a component to it. Because it seems to affect more my feet than it would. It's not like hands. Mm -hmm. Right. Cramping? Like as you're as you're exercising, do you get cramping in your legs? In, I mean, in my calves, I do sometimes, yeah. Okay. But I'm not, I wasn't sure if that's like a lack of potassium or not enough water. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Those types of things. But yeah, my calves sometimes really kill me but I don't know if it's um I mean we sometimes have people that you know report that their feet go numb with vein problems mm -hmm. the only thing is it's not one of the more common mm -hmm. complaints mm -hmm. so likely especially how you, you're seeing these bulging ones mm -hmm. there's likely something going on deeper mm -hmm. so those main vein not mm -hmm. not the deep one in the middle but yes. those saphenous veins on you have likely gone bad mm -hmm. um, and getting rid of them is actually easy to do mm -hmm. um, with new new technology that's come out but it's also um, it kind of can help like some people are like well isn't that bad to get rid of those right veins? right it's actually not because yeah, you don't they're superficial they're superficial right. you right. don't need them is there now what's the likelihood of them can I have returning like would the veins come back like that's the thing too is that I mean I did in high school go for like a consultation mm -hmm. it's like and he basically was like 
yeah, there's, you know, there is a problem, but it's one of those things where if you're going to have children or anything like that, like it's just, it's, there would be no point in him doing anything now. Gotcha. So that's kind of my thought too is, I mean, if I did something now, okay, it would help temporarily, but then if I were to get married and have a child or something like that, would all of these symptoms come back and would it come back worse or no? Okay. Now, the vein, because the veins that we shut down are going to be gone. Okay. Your body reabsorbs them, use the material elsewhere, and they're gone. Okay. Now, over time, your body will make new veins, or mm -hmm. let's say that, you know, this vein isn't working properly, but this one is. Mm -hmm. um, there's a chance that, because we're not going to take a vein if it's working fine. Okay. So there's a chance that that one, over time, could go bad, too. Okay. But the ones we treat, no, they're going to be gone, um, and so they won't cause you any more problems. Okay. Now, vein disease is, unfortunately, because it's usually hereditary, mm -hmm. kind of a, a chronic or progressive thing. Mm -hmm. So over time, you might have symptoms again, um, but the, the treatments are very easy to do. Okay. Um, so, and as far as waiting till after you have kids, that is kind of the, the old thinking, because okay. it used to be a major surgery. You had okay. to go into the hospital, they put you under, and they basically rip these veins yeah. out. We do it through a laser procedure that okay. goes into the vein. Okay. Um, it's done here at the office. You're not even asleep. Okay. So it's it's usually well tolerated. Um, and going back to the the stripping, which is when they ripped them out, mm -hmm. they weren't always effective, and okay. that's why you would have it done, end up getting pregnant, and it would all come right back right. because they didn't actually remove the right veins. Okay. And that's why the ultrasound is now used okay. to show which veins are bad, right. and where they're bad, things like that. Right. So, so you're not taking out something that you would absolutely. Yeah. And we're like getting everything. Mm -hmm. um, so and I'm still trying to find the impulses. So oh, sorry about that. No. Okay. <laughs> um, you like that over the summer with every more time. There to recuperate or what's the the re actually we could do the procedure in the morning and you could go back to work. It's really? Like that well tolerated. Oh. Most people don't want to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But no. you, we actually okay. recommend you go walk right after. Okay. Uh, Dr. Pittman's joke is he, re he like, the doctor's orders are go to the mall. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we want you to walk around. You don't okay. have to go home and put your feet up. Okay. Um, but for you during the summer, you would obviously have more time yeah. to do it. And that would probably work well because, like I said, most insurances are going to require that three-month trial okay. of the conservative therapy. Okay. So, so there is a three-month minimum then on wearing the compression. Unfortunately. Okay. With insurance. Okay. So what month are we in now? So I gotta get this. Well, it would actually be pretty good timing okay. for you, except for you probably getting be getting ready for the next school year. Right. Right. But, around July. Okay. So let me grab him um, and he can talk to you a little bit more. Okay. I'll see if he can do the ultrasound. Okay, perfect. Even if it's just a quick one. What I wanted to do specifically is um, is examine a pulse because she said she was having a little problem with that. Mm -hmm. And part of the problem might actually be you're sitting uh -huh. the way you are. Uh -huh. That happen. Um, but actually, the pulse exam in the foot is one of the most challenging things is that there is out there. Huh. Believe it or not, um, after 20 years, because I'm an interventional radiologist, we're like cardiologists outside the heart, mm -hmm. but so much more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we, we do um, basically image guided surgery, and interventional radiologists invented stents, angioplasty, mm -hmm. stroke intervention, and laser closure, there goes veins. But you don't hear a lot about us. Um, but anyway, the only one. Only ones I trust for a foot pulse are a vascular surgeon or an interventional yes. radiologist. <laughs> you see, they can be very challenging. Uh, no, not right now. Just, just relax. Okay. Yeah, that's part of part of mm -hmm. it. I know it's it's not normal for s strange people to be touching the feet. So people kind of tense up a little bit. In a moment, I think I might have to stand up. Yeah, I can feel it now. Another thing is there's 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 a posterior tibial pulse behind the ankle here, and then there's dorsalis pedis pulse on the top of the foot. I'm a recovering assistant professor, so I spew a lot. Um, but anyway, um, you have two of these arteries, and they're often uh, one's dominant and one's not. Mm -hmm. And basically, your posterior tibial artery is dominant. So if right. we really go back there, we can feel it. Yeah. But the one in the top of your foot, yeah. um, 
not so much. But anyways, <laughs> I think your arteries are just fine. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That explains it right there. Any yeah. anyway, anything you see, we're gonna get rid of. Okay. Um, but uh, I know she had mentioned too about the compression hose. Yes. Um, or that I have to wear that for most months, most months, I think she had said or something. Most insurance companies yeah. and Medicare require a three month trial of compression okay. hose. Um, it's not necessarily a scientific thing. Right. To be perfectly honest, I think it's just a way to sometimes delay care or push people yeah. into new deductibles. Yeah. Um, but but at any rate, those are the criteria that we have to abide by. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, yeah, we would need to see you back in three months um, and see how you're doing with the hose. Okay. Actually, hose work great. Yeah. Um, they uh, have been around for over 100 years. They'll make people feel better if they have vein problems, but no one wants to wear them the rest of the life. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then actually, um, we use the hose after we treat you. So okay. anytime we do laser or chemical injection, we're always going to put you in a hose for a week or two. Okay. Because after we irritate the veins with, with the laser or the chemical injection, the hose basically compress the vein so that it heals shut. Okay. That's why we torch you with hose, but only for a few weeks. Okay. Um, so anyway, Sandra here will measure you for the hose. Okay. Um, hose often get a bad, bad rap, no pun intended, <laughs> when people have worn hose in the past because um, there's all sorts of different kinds and right. quality. Right. The ones we have here are custom measured, they're custom fitted, and they don't have any latex rubber in them. So okay. They should be reasonably comfortable for you because it is nice to know if your symptoms do get a little bit yeah. better um, uh, with the hose because uh, it's a very uh, it's a way to diagnose people right, right. people have arthritis um, back pain with sciatica the kind of pain that radiates into the mm -hmm. legs and vein care and mm -hmm. vein problems right if we put them in hose um, and they get better then i know they have a vein problem it's right. going to respond to treatment um, now some people think if they come in and, and say they feel better after three months with a hose and I'm going to tell them, okay, we'll keep wearing them for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. that, it just, yeah. that, it doesn't yeah. matter, it's just you need to do that yeah. trial. Just so, yeah. so yes, yeah, so I like to hear people say, yeah, it's a little marginally better, but you know, normally what people are going to complain about is they're, they're difficult to put on, take yeah. off, they're not necessarily comfortable. Yeah. Um, so anyway, just experiment with okay. them and then um, Three months later, we'll see you, and then uh, we'll get you approved. When you have bulging Is varicosities there, like that, yeah, you, you're, we're definitely going to find an objective problem on the ultrasound. Is there any? Is, do you have any time for an ultrasound today, or no? I wish I did. Okay. Um, I wish I did, but we don't. Um, okay. And it takes about 30 minutes. A very detailed exam. It's not just uh, there's two sets of veins. It's mm -hmm. not just a rule out clot mm -hmm. exam. Um, your teacher, okay. I thought maybe you're a nurse or something. No. But it's a very detailed <laughs> thing. And, yeah. and actually, you know, ultrasound is uh, really what's revolutionized vein care. It shows us exactly where these leaks are, and then we can target our treatments to turn off those leaks. And when okay. we turn them off, the flood in the basement goes away. And, okay. it, and it's really that simple. So doing that exam properly and interpreting it properly is, is very important. Okay. Um, Do you want me to schedule I mean, another yes, appointment what, for that? Okay. Yes, what I would suggest is we get you measured your hose, okay. we start your hose trial starting today, okay. and then we can um, ultrasound you as soon as next week, I think, Okay. and, um, and I'm, I'm positive we're going to find some objective um, signs of vein disease, which we need to see okay. also for insurance right. approval, Right. and I can assure you I haven't treated anybody that hasn't gotten better, Okay. and um, anything you see that's bugging you, we'll get rid of. It's okay. a process because mm -hmm. we're reversing a lifetime of, of vein disease. Um, that means it might take several visits, okay. but um, we can bring you back to school real legs and mm -hmm. have you compete with It doesn't matter. I mean, at the end of the day, like I'm, I'm so used to seeing this mm -hmm. that it doesn't even, that's not even my concern anymore. I mean, I could really well, we're gonna, less about what it looks, you know what I mean, what it looks like because I, I've always had them. Well, I do and I'll tell you why. Because um, the main focus is the medical yeah. part and we want to make people feel better first, but then you're a walking advertisement. Yeah. And when well, you tell true. people, man, I feel so much better, <laughs> Dr. and there you go. And so at that point, it's a matter of pride and you're a walking advertisement. So we normally do a little bit of complementary square therapy, mm -hmm. cosmetic square therapy to show now, you, can you how do, effective I mean, it is. Is there anything that you can do? Like I have, you know, like these like little like any, spider veins and any stuff? Any okay. you 
you see? Because I mean, I'm starting to get them. Like the more I exercise, too, the more Anything I get them. Anything you see, we can get rid of. Them. Okay. Um, and I'll talk to you more about that um, okay. later. So yeah, I don't, I don't like sending people out feeling better without looking better. Right. And, and well, we're gonna true. make you an offer you can't refuse okay. to, to get <laughs> you to school girl legs. It's okay. kind of. Um, you're our best advertising. Mm -hmm. That's how we do it. One patient yeah. at a time. Yeah.